Hi there, this is Corey Ringdahl with the Red Carpet Report. Uh, tonight we are here to celebrate the extraordinary Stan Lee. We'll be talking with uh, many of the luminaries who are going to be celebrating him with us. And uh, come along with us and my fellow guardians as we have that exact conversation. Done great work in Hong Kong with the Iron Man experience. Um, tell us a, a bit about that. A bit about that experience. You know, there's something to be said about all the movies and the recent films and television shows that have sort of expanded the stories that I grew up with. You know, just reading, and so to be a part of a project that actually sort of takes it into reality, if you will, where you know we're creating experiences for guests to get up close with their favorite heroes and that stories. I mean, it's a privilege, really. So you'd say you've been an Iron Man fan for a while? Absolutely. I've, I, I could probably trace back to the first Iron Man action figure toy that I bought in the 70s if I wanted to. Yeah. That's, that's great. Uh, have you had a chance to actually talk to Stan about this? Because I know he gets a lot involved in a lot of the projects. I, I have, actually. And, you know, in a, in a candid moment when he wasn't working, because he's working all the time, we were uh, in, a, in a green room, and I asked him, so Stan... You know, I've been a fan of yours for decades now. Red Stan soapbox in the back of all the mag, in all the all the comics, uh, and I asked him, "So, what do you think of all this—the movies and this, that?" And you know, one of the the, the the I think the coolest things ever was to sort of realize that all along for him, he was just trying to keep the lights on. He said, "You know, at the time, we were just writing the stories to keep people working and to keep the lights on." And I thought that was amazing. You know. You know, and there, there's something to be said from the inspiration that they had to create those at that time that then feeds its way into, I guess, the modern zeitgeist. Absolutely. And I think what's really clear after meeting Stan personally is that it's very, all of these stories, all of these characters are very personal to him. Um, and, and I think in the end, I never thought about it until he said it, I think that's what kind of makes all of the Marvel characters a lot different from everybody else is that they're people you can relate to because there are personal stories. A lot of them started with Stan. That's great. Um, any uh, possibility for something as good as the Iron Man experience here in Southern California? Always the possibility. I mean, we just had Guardians Mission Breakout open. It's fantastic. Have you been on it? Uh, not yet. I'm not a big rides guy. Okay. This is about as tall as I like to oh, get. Okay. It's, been, it's great. It's great. And I think it, it, they did a great job, that team, and uh, paying homage to all those great new characters, I think, to a lot of people, the Guardians of the Galaxy. But there's always new things to come. This coast, the East Coast. You know, so we're really excited about, you know, all of the stories that we get to play in. Excellent. We really look forward to uh, what you have coming up next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, folks, I hope you had as good a time as I did. Uh, make sure you leave a comment below uh, telling us about how Stan Lee changed your life. Uh, give us a like. Definitely a subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, Excelsior.